Jennifer Garner had a sweet night out with her son. The actress attended the Los Angeles Lakers game against the Golden State Warriors on Sunday with her 11-year-old son, Samuel. And the mother-son duo looked like they had a total blast. Samuel was spotted smiling from ear to ear alongside his famous mama while she snapped a few selfies and the two held hands. This isn't the first time the youngin has sat courtside at a basketball game. He also attended a Lakers game with his dad, Ben Affleck, back in December. Jen and Ben, who were married from 2005 to 2018, also share 17-year-old daughter Violet and 14-year-old daughter Serafina together. Access Hollywood Scott Evans spoke to the Yes Day actress back in March 2021, and she opened up about parenting her two daughters and son. So I've been having Yes Days with my kids for almost a decade. Yeah. All because my daughter loved this book so much by Amy Krauss Rosenthal. And it's just a day of a, a kid where if you want to have a picnic, you have a picnic. If you want to eat ice cream for breakfast, you eat ice cream. If you want to stay up late, you stay up late. Of course, what kid doesn't want to do all of those things? Right. And um, so I've been doing this for a while. And one day I just posted, not even knowing if other moms were doing yes days right. or other families. And I posted a picture of myself after always we finish sleeping in the yard in a tent. And uh, Ben Everard and Lawrence Gray called me up and said, hey, we have the rights to this book. Should we produce this together? And I said, yes, of course. What a great idea. It's, it is it is next level. I just talked to, to Miguel, who then told me about the story of wanting to be able to tell this story through a, a culturally blended family, which I thought mm -hmm. was such a, a really great choice for this movie. Um, but Edgar, tell me this. I'm a little disappointed, uh, Jen, I have, to tell, I have to tell you, I'm a little disappointed because usually when we do these interviews, you're, I'm standing next to Edgar, who regularly is the best smelling person in any <laughs> space that you're in. True, but, I will but, tell you, this is true. Right? <laughs> but Edgar, tell me this, could you ever believe after being through this experience of shooting yesterday with Jennifer Gardner, that she would ever be considered by any of her children as once being the fun killer? No, no, but I get it. I get why, because it's, I, 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 because you know, it's being a parent and I'm not a father yet, but um, I, you know, this experience has helped me a lot and also I'm very close to my friends who are, yeah. and I have a sister who's a wonderful mother and it is an impossible job. It is an impossible job. Impossible. You know? So, so she, I mean, for me, it is very hard and I know, and, and her kids are adorable and they're so beautifully, you know, raised and, 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 and polite. They're like the best kids. Um, but, but, but yeah, I'm sure that some, sometime at some, someday, if they want to get something out of Jennifer, they will call, call her fun killer, but that <laughs> is love. I mean, you need to give kids structure. They want to be free, yeah. but they also want to be protected. It's both things happen at the same it's time. Good. Liberate me, protect me, liberate me, be my safety net. Let me do whatever I want, but please give me boundaries. I mean, that's right. why being a parent is an impossible job. And that's why- Ooh, Listen, I, I've got two dogs in this for a very simple reason. I am not ready. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good to ready. know that. That's yeah, really it's really good, good to know that. Know. But yes, now, tell I'm me a this. fun killer, it's okay.